Well, someone who's shown leadership in the NBA Finals in big situations, one Kyrie Irving. Mm -hmm. But this week, oh, he had some situations off the court in Madison Square Garden. They started chanting for him to come play for the New York Knicks. But here's Kyrie after the Celtics won that game. You did hear the, the chance, Kyrie? Are you are you reaching for it right now? No, no, I'm, I'm, I couldn't hear everything. You said. Everybody heard it. Like we, come on, man. Like, come on, man. Do you, I mean, do you laugh at all when you hear it? I mean, it's a lot of guys get cheered. Good players get cheered when they come here. That's a little different. Like I said, it's nothing but distraction at this point. Like, you know what I mean? I, like I said again, I'm appreciative of the cheers. I'm appreciative of the fan support that I get around the league in every arena. Obviously, being back home. What has been said, I repeat myself again, what has been said, what has been circling around in terms of extra commentary, I kind of figured it was going to be something like that tonight. Um, I'm just happy we got the win and I'm ready to go back to Boston. I think you, you know the answer to that, man. It's just, I, you know, obviously you would hope uh, it would quiet down, but like I said, it doesn't help when, you know, across the league, you know, it's just out outside noise again and my name gets thrown into it and then you know conversations speculations everybody's worried about their credibility I don't know how this media empire works I know it's a bunch of nonsense to me so um, I have a focus in winning the championship this year and um, that's where my focus is going to stay so you know even me saying something like that is not concrete enough for anybody so you know it is what it is um, you know I got to go home and take care of my family and friends and that's the stuff where it really matters for me um, you know, loving the game of basketball, that's where it's always going to be. I didn't do this for the media. I didn't do this for the money. I didn't do this for the fans. I did it because I love the game. And I work extremely hard in my craft. And I want to be one of the greatest ever. So that's where my focus is. You know what I mean? It's going to come. I'm appreciative how, you know, grateful I am. I'm grateful for all the, you know, identify, everybody identifying the talents that I am, who wants to play with me. I'm, I'm appreciative of that. But at the end of the day, like I said this morning, I'm going to make the best decisions for me and my family. And, and that's how it's going to go. There is so much there with Kyrie Irving. I think the, the thing you're laughing about is the fact that he says, oh, I don't know how this media thing works. He seems to be pretty good at it. In fact, I mean, when you're the lead in a major motion picture and was also an actor in high school, don't forget that as well. Kyrie Irving, a very overall talented guy. Not, not familiar with this media empire wearing an Uncle Drew hat during the the interview excellent product placement excellent yes he's, he's a brilliant guy i love him i i do love him and i love that kyrie he likes to talk he's good in front of the camera you can tell he's a little bit bothered and there look i didn't i didn't play in an era where we had social media the 24-hour news cycle all this time this is where i give you guys and this era so much credit i don't know how you do it and i that this is where i don't i don't think these guys made enough money having to deal with this type of media crush. I mean, he can't leave his hotel right now without people just knocking his door down trying to get at him. He's got a $21 million player option for next season. Seems like that will not be exercised. So where will he, where will he play next year? Will he be in a Boston uniform? It's possible that he can be in a Boston uniform. Uh, I think that he will more, most likely be in the Big Apple. And I just think that, you know, when you talk about the move of Porzingis and Tim Hardaway and C Steve Mills and those guys did an excellent job of creating s that cap space to acquire a guy like Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant or whoever, you know what I mean? Even possibly a Jimmy Butler or whatever, because, you, you know, he's still not looking extremely happy there in Philadelphia. And look, Kyrie is just a pleasure to play with. He's a champion. He's a perennial all-star. He's someone that loves the game of basketball, which he stated. And obviously, you see, this kid did not grow up playing against ghosts and basketball cones. He's been playing against live bodies, activity, and it's showing. He's a gamer. I want the best for him and his family, and he's passionate about his craft. So it should be interesting to see what the Boston Celtics do. If, if that's the case, maybe before the trade deadline, we could see a Kyrie Irving trade. And man, 